uh, just a tough, tough way to lose one. We uh, we played well. Um, you, know, you look at the stat sheet. If you had told me we were going to score 73 and and uh, force Virginia into 16 turnovers, I would have told you we'd have won the game. And uh, that didn't happen. Uh, Shayok and Parantes were terrific for them. Uh, just made big time baskets throughout the game. But uh, Parantes baskets late certainly were difference makers. Um, I thought we did some really good things offensively. Handled their double team well. Um, you know, had a relatively low turnover game and, and uh, played really, really well in spurts. Had a few spurts at the beginning of the second half. We didn't play as well, but uh, <laughs> just pleased with our competitive fight. Unfortunately, we've got to find ways to win these games. It's the third third league game or fourth league game that's come down to the last minute. We've only won one, um, <clears throat> you know, and that's, that's frustrating for all of us. Questions? Coach, how tough was the uh, the quick turnaround from Thursday night to playing noon today? It was hard, but I mean, we're not going to use that as an excuse. We 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 had enough energy to try to win the game. Um, you know, we didn't get to practice it live, which we would like to have done. But you know, again, Virginia made plays. They they won today because they made plays, and uh, just one or two more than we did. Knowing their defense is tough. The way you guys kind of compartmentalized and were able to, to get into the game with a good plan, were you pleased with how you executed? Yeah, against them? absolutely. I thought our guys, you know, in a short amount of time, did some really good thing. We added a couple wrinkles to things, and and then we, you know, Eli was good and JB was good both in the post, um, which is hard to do against Virginia. Um, they double you so much that most teams, you know, go away from it and don't throw it in. We kind of tried to have a solid mix of it, and I thought we did, and I thought we handled the traps well and got some some good shots out of the traps um, and got a couple of layups and, and dunks when we just got it to the other big. Um, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Virginia shot the ball so well. Um, are you pleased with the way you, you played defense on the perimeter? Or is it no, just that's, that's just, we're just not, we're just not as good. Our individual defending is not, um, is not what it needs to be, and you know when we're playing teams that have terrific players, Shayok's a big, big old wing that we had a hard time with. Um, you know we had several different guys guard him at different times, and he he, he made them all struggle. Um, we struggled with Parantes. Avery, you know, is one of our better defenders, and he had a hard time guarding him. And some of it's their motion, some of it's the way they run offense. They just they grind you, and they're so patient and. Uh, and then some of it is, you know, Parantes especially is an elite player. And when you play against elite players in this league, some guys are just going to be able to score. You just got to challenge them, make them tough. Uh, but certainly our overall field goal percentage defense was not good today. Uh, and again, I thought a lot of the credit Virginia really executed. And, uh, you know, we just didn't, we didn't make enough adjustments and, and do enough things individually to guard well. You got a tough game against Louisville now coming off. Yeah. How do you kind of what do you tell these guys to keep this thing from, from spiraling out of control? Um it's hard. Um you don't want to keep telling them the same thing. You know, it's easy to say that proud of your effort, you're competing, you know, there's one or two things we gotta fix, but it's also competitive sports. You need to find a way to win. And you guys are becoming grown men, and this is a, the grown man's world. And so, when we we get to these situations, we got to find ways to win these games more often than not. And uh, you know, everybody, my wife's going to tell me I coached a great game. My mother's going to tell me we did great, this, that, and the other. Their mothers are going to do the same thing. But at the end of the day, you shouldn't want to feel good the rest of the day. Like, if losing doesn't bother you enough, then you'll never get over losing. Uh, and if you can get over it by this afternoon, then losing doesn't bother you. And uh, that's what I told them, and they need to hear that. And I'm proud of their effort. They competed. We played some good basketball today. There won't be many teams score 73 points on Virginia, uh, and there won't be many teams that cause them 16 turnovers. So our guys played hard. We played well. We, I mean, this, looked, this felt like an NCAA tournament game. All these games have. The problem is we're not winning them. Uh, the only one we've been able to win, the scratch out a win, was Wake Forest on the road. So we got to keep battling, and uh, people aren't going to feel sorry for you in this league. You better figure out a way to get things changed. And 
may not happen this week, may not happen next week, but if you believe in yourself and your team, then you keep going to, to work and you do more. You watch more film, you put in more time with shooting, you get with coaches, and you believe in each other and you keep fighting and eventually you, you bust through and, and put together some wins and get this thing turned back around. So um, hopefully I've got a group of guys that want to do that. Down three there at the end. Dante shoots a three on the break. Would you rather? Yeah, I didn't love that shot. I didn't love that shot. I mean, that's you know, that's that was a little quick. You know, it's one of those shots where if he's made two and he's kind of feeling it, then you can <laughs> kind of live with it. But to be honest with you, he probably that would that was one we would have liked to have run more often. You don't need a three there. Um, we did come out of a timeout the previous play and. And tried to run a play for Gabe because Gabe had made a couple threes and like, hey, let's let's try to give him a look. Um, and he got a decent look, and he didn't make it. And uh, you know, but then we got to stop and come down or uh, whatnot, and that was just too quick. Uh, yeah, that was a poor decision. Was part of the plan to get them in foul trouble early and maybe make them a little bit passive well, defensively? I mean, the plan is always to try to get the other team in foul trouble, but. It's hard to do because Virginia doesn't foul. They foul a little more this year than in years past. But, you know, you just try to play in some space. Make them guard space because they're so good um, in everything they do and, and uh, how they play defense. They're good individual defenders, great help defenders. Um, they're, they're hard to score on. Uh, and I thought we did about as good as you can do in certain situations. I thought we were tired a little bit and lost a little bit of movement um, in a few of our – four out, one in things, but, uh, you know, again, by and large, I thought we played well offensively. All good.